Good morning and thanks for joining us. It is Thursday, June 21st. I'm Lauren Barnes. And I'm Joe Morano. It is the 21st, first day of summer, National Selfie Day as well. I know, hitting all <laughs> the important things today. We're doing something kind of different, fun yeah. for Selfie Day. I'm getting ready to post on my Facebook here, and Joe and Elisa are too, right. a selfie we just took here in the studio. We want you guys to comment your best one, funniest, whatever you want to do. And then at the end of the show, we're going to post our favorite. Exactly. So give us a shout on social media. It is the first day of summer, and I know Elisa is excited about that so let's get over to her right now with your forecast first this morning I'm gonna be real technical right now it is spring you've got six more minutes of spring that's when the first day of summer hits it is at 507 a.m. 70 degrees right now in Springfield we've got a couple of clouds out there a west and southwest wind and dew points in the 60s uh, that rain that came through yesterday here's the cold front associated with it that low spinning up to the north this low is going to start to spin and sag south so we'll keep some shower and storm chances in there as we had through the day today. Uh, we had a little bit of a storm uh, ahead of the cold front over Stockton. It has really dwindled a little bit of a shower up around Buffalo um, this morning, but that's about it. Temperatures are in the 60s and 70s. It's 70 in Springfield. We'll have a couple of storms possible by this afternoon. We'll uh, have to track some clouds and cooler temperatures. Details in 10 minutes. Developing story for you this morning. Police are still looking for two jewel thieves. Officers say a robbery happened at the Zales Jewelry Store at the Battlefield Mall in Springfield around 8 on Tuesday night. Police spokeswoman Lisa Cox says two men came into the store claiming they had a gun and demanded jewelry. There were no customers in the store at the time and no weapon was actually shown. But the thieves got away with a large amount of jewelry and have not been located yet. Police are still investigating. And Brookline's fire chief, Larry McConnell, has been charged with second-degree rape and three counts of statutory sodomy. The Greene County Sheriff's Office says McConnell has been booked into jail with his bond set at $25,000. Moving on to some medical coverage this morning. More than 1,300 people died in Missouri last year due to opioid abuse, but a new $1 million grant and new program at the Jordan Valley Community Health Center in Springfield hopes to bring those numbers down for the years to come. The grant is from the Missouri Foundation for Health, and it will be used over a three-year period. Jordan Valley Center will provide medical-assisted therapies, case management, and primary care services. The Jordan Valley Family Health Foundation will partner with the Springfield Health Department, Community Partnership of the Ozarks, and One Door, because the goal is to treat the whole person, not just the addiction. We think that through these wraparound services, dealing with other social determinants, that may have caused or at least been a part of their addiction in the first place, help deal with housing issues or employment or, 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 or things like that, legal issues, that we can use other means as well to help them to uh, kick the habit. At the national level, the same method is being taken. Yesterday, Congress passed more than 60 pieces of legislation to help in the fight against opioid abuse. Some weather coverage for you now. It's been one of the hottest starts to June on record in Springfield. And for high school athletes, working around that heat for safety purposes is a priority. There's hardly an off season for local Springfield athletes, as it's traditionally the time of year spent to condition right about now. It'll heat up again before long, so the district has partnered with Mercy Sports Medicine to ensure athletes are properly hydrated and healthy. They even go as far as to making weight checks before and after every workout. But Dr. Jim Rayner with Mercy Sports medicine says there is more to keeping athletes safe than just drinking water. People underestimate the value of sleep, they underestimate the value of proper nutrition and consistent nutrition, equipment use, the amount of contact, the actual amount of minutes that's closely monitored. Rayner says losing 2% or more in body weight via water can put you at risk for heat-related illnesses. And, you know, we've been talking about this a lot because it is the first day of summer right now. Mm -hmm. It's been so hot, and Elisa Rafa is in the weather lab to bring us some more on what to expect with those hot temps over the next couple of months. Hey, Elisa. We have three more minutes of spring. At 5.07 is when we have the summer solstice. So what that is is the earth is going to start to tilt a little bit more leaning towards 
towards the sun in the northern hemisphere. So that's where we get the astronomical start to summer. Uh, again, it's that tilt in the northern hemisphere for us. In the southern hemisphere, it will be the start to winter. It's the longest day of the year here at Springfield. We'll have over 14 hours of daylight uh, today, the longest day of the year because this summer solstice is happening. But as we mentioned, I mean, it's officially the start of summer, but hey, it's felt like it for the last six or seven weeks. We had a record warm May. This is the calendar for May. All of the red is well above normal temperatures. The first 90 degree day came two weeks early. May uh, 26 is when we hit 90 degrees. The average first 90 degree day in Springfield is June 10th. So again, very hot very early this year and it's uh, been above normal every single day this month so far. Uh, we've had temperatures in the 90s just the last seven days. So one of the hottest starts to June on record too. Now this is a trend that we're continuing to see more and more these above normal days in the summer. Back in 1970 we had between 40 and 50 summer days that were above normal and now you can see the line goes up. Now we've got between 50 and 60 above normal days in the summer. So more hot days, more quantity of hot days in the summer. So what that does is when we get more hot days, especially when they come early and then they stay late, the seasons are shifting. We're getting a longer summer that kind of squeezes around and shrinks winter a little bit. The summers are growing, the winters are shrinking. Uh, it seems nice, but these have impacts to agriculture, um, things like that, to ski industries. You know, it's a kind of ripple effect when we get this to happen. But yeah, been hot already. I'm glad you said that because it feels like summer has gotten longer as well and you just pointed that out so well. Five seconds left. You counting down right now? <laughs> Four, three, three, two. <laughs> yeah, no, but it's, it's cool. So it's happening uh, right now here, 5.07. It's officially summer, guys. Congratulations. All right. Happy hey, summer. we had a good spring run. I had yeah. a birthday. You had a birthday, I right? I had a birthday. <laughs> <laughs> so that's good. Uh, thank you, Elisa. And 14 plus hours of daylight today, right? Yes. All right, yeah. so get outside a little bit, right? Yeah, Okay. Nice. Just stay hydrated and everything else.